Hey guys, Dr. Shelly here. I wanted to share with you how you can eliminate foot pain without having to go to a podiatrist. So just so you know, in case, in case you don't know, I'm a chiropractor. I've been adjusting patients for about a decade and foot issues seem to be one of these health concerns that comes up more often than you think. So a lot of the time when people go to chiropractors, it's for neck pain, back pain, headaches, you know, spinal concerns, and chiropractic adjustments are amazing for that. But a lot of people struggle with foot pain also, and I had great mentors going through school, and they taught me, you know, they were mentors, other chiropractors, um, they taught me what they did over decades and decades of seeing patients um, so I wanted to share with you some of those things that you can do on your own to eliminate foot pain and hopefully keep you from having to go to a podiatrist because podiatrists are, they're doctors, um, they, they have ways to help you eliminate your foot pain like injections, some, some podiatrists will do, um, they'll make orthotics and things like that and there's a place for that but I wanna share with you these ways for you to try to eliminate your foot pain and hopefully keep you from having to go to a podiatrist, okay? Um, so, this will work with the majority of reasons why somebody will have foot pain. So there's always those exceptions, so don't think that this is gonna work 100% of the time, but it will work like 98% of the time, okay? So the first thing that I recommend to my patients who come in and say I have foot pain is I look at the shoes they're wearing and I say, do you wear those shoes all the time? And I'm in Florida, my practice is in Florida, and in Florida, most people wear flip-flops, sandals, because it's Florida, why wouldn't you, right? So if a patient comes in and they have foot pain and they're wearing sandals, my first recommendation to them is to find a pair of sneakers that have really good support. And even if, even if they love their sandals, and I've heard this a lot of the time, oh, my sandals are really supportive, and I look at them and they have like a little bit of a, little bit of an arch support in the sandal, it doesn't matter. From what I found, just trust me, get a pair of sneakers that have good arch support. Um, if you have an old pair of sneakers, I would get a new pair of sneakers, okay? And wear the sneakers all the time. And don't go barefoot. That's even worse than wearing sandals, okay? And this is, this is not for the rest of your life. This is just until you're able to eliminate your foot pain. So wear sneakers. Eat, oh, and I should say this too. In your house, when you're walking around in your house, if you don't have really plush carpeting everywhere in your house, which most people don't, especially in Florida, a lot of us have tile um, in our kitchen. I don't know people who have carpeting in their kitchen, but if you have any area in your house that's not carpeted, I would wear sneakers in your house, okay? So wear sneakers as often, as you can, maybe not when you're showering or going to sleep, but wear sneakers all the time, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing that I recommend you do to get rid of your foot pain is don't ice it. So I know that when you put ice on an area that is painful, it can temporarily relieve that pain because it reduces inflammation, but one of the most common reasons why people have foot pain, especially foot pain on the plantar surface of your foot, so on the bottom of your foot, is because the fascia, which is the connective tissue on the bottom of your foot, is really tight. And that type of connective tissue doesn't have great blood supply to it, okay? Like your muscles have good blood supply, your, your internal organs have good blood supply, but your feet are really far away from your heart and the bottom of your feet, that type of connective tissue it doesn't have the greatest blood flow in that area. So when you put ice on an area, although it reduces the inflammation, it might help it feel better temporarily, it's restricting the, that blood flow even more. So what I've seen, which has worked way better than ice, is heat, because heat increases blood flow, okay? So that's why you can soak your feet in hot water, maybe like an Epsom salt bath. You can go in a sauna because that's heat. You can even get a heating pad and like wrap your feet up in the, in the heating pad. But anything you can do to increase the temperature to, to get more blood flow down into your feet, it's gonna help them heal faster and it's gonna help eliminate that pain quicker than icing it, okay? In fact, this is such a powerful thing that I have had patients that came into my office 
and their main health concern was their foot pain. And I did everything that I knew how to do, that I had been taught to do, that I know works, and they still had this lingering foot pain. And it's usually because I forgot to ask them, are you icing at home? And if they say yes, that's usually why they still have their foot pain. So as soon as we get them off the ice and they start using heat, or even, even if they just stop using ice and they don't use heat at all, their foot pain goes away almost immediately, like within a week or two. So no ice, only heat. The third thing that I recommend is to get your feet and your ankles adjusted. So as I mentioned already, I, I see a lot of people for extremity issues. So I see a lot of people with knee pain, ankle pain, foot issues, and I just kind of, I don't know how I transitioned into that niche. I mean, I'm a chiropractor, so I do full spine adjusting, but I do a lot of ex extremity adjusting also. And once you help one person with their foot pain, they tell their other friend who has foot pain, who tells their other friend who has foot pain. And then all of, all of a sudden, half of my schedule is filled with people who have extremity issues. So from what I've seen, okay, is that getting your feet and your ankles adjusted is one of the most beneficial things that you can do to help eliminate your foot pain. And you don't need to get your feet and your ankles adjusted every single day for nine months. A lot of the time, getting them adjusted once, once a week, twice a week, just for a couple of weeks can actually speed up the healing process. You have 26 bones in your feet, and which make up, so two bones together make a joint, and you have 33 joints in your feet. So from a chiropractic point of view, making sure that all of those joints are moving properly is one of the best things you can do to eliminate your foot pain because you can do everything else. You can do, you know, get the new pair of sneakers that are supportive. You can start heat, you know, heat therapy on your feet instead of icing. And if you have a joint in your foot or your ankle even that isn't moving correctly, it has limited range of motion, then you'll get a little bit better, but if you don't handle the movement problem in your foot, it's gonna take a really long time to, to heal if it does at all. So what I recommend is find a chiropractor who adjusts ankles and feet. And I recommend finding a chiropractor who does that on you know, pretty often, not just once in a while when a patient says they have foot pain, but a lot of chiropractors, um, and, and some of them are my greatest friends. They, they kind of specialize in, in spinal adjusting, and that's amazing. They're some of the best adjusters. Not every chiropractor wants to deal with extremities. A lot of them do, but just make sure that when you go to find a chiropractor, make, you know, call and ask them on the phone, hey, does Dr. So-and-so um, have a lot of experience with adjusting feet or extremities, elbows, wrists? And if the person who's scheduling you says, yes, they have a lot of patients that they, they help with that, then you can be sure that they've adjusted a lot of feet, a lot of ankles, and that you're in good hands, okay? So I'm just gonna summarize real quick the three things that you can do starting right now to eliminate your foot pain that does not require you visiting a podiatrist. The first one is get a new pair of sneakers and wear them all the time, even in your house. Don't go barefoot and don't wear flip-flops until the pain is gone, okay? Number two, don't ice your feet, use heat, okay? It might go against everything that you've been told, but trust me, it works way better, okay? And number three, find a chiropractor who adjusts extremities and tell them that you watch this video and Dr. Shelley says that you need your ankles and your feet checked to see whether or not any of those joints are not moving correctly. So there's a, there's a couple other things that you can do, but I wanted to keep this to the three most important things that you can do starting right now to eliminate your foot pain. So I hope this was helpful for everyone. And if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments below and I will write you back. Um, if you're looking for a chiropractor near you, um, let me know. I, I might have a friend who practices nearby. If I can help you, let me know. I'd be happy to see you. And uh, yeah. Make sure you put some questions, guys. I like questions. So anyway, I hope you guys all have an awesome rest of your day and I will talk to you soon.